so in the background you're gonna hear some yard sounds people in my neighborhood are getting their mowing and landscaping on um, I posted the video that <clears throat> about the kindness that I responded to let me be clear on something I'm not saying that you have to be cruel or you have to over exaggerate your honesty but sometimes people are so fooled or they have fooled themselves or people have just built them up this this um, cloak of deception or misunderstanding or just foolishness to be quite frank and you know honesty isn't cheap uh, truth sometimes can hurt now sometimes it's not what you say but how you say it but I will tell you for example in my line of work sometimes I am not a substance abuse counselor so I'll put that out there right around but I work with people who are recovering from substance abuse they're in substance abuse facilities and they're trying to transition out suffer from chronic homelessness and um, for a long time have been lied to or have lied to themselves and you just have to be honest consistently honest and it's not that you belittle them it's not that you talk down to them it's that you talk to them and that's kind of where I'm going with it you have to talk to people not over them not behind them to them you don't do what I do for a living for the money you don't you don't become a counselor for the money you do jobs like what we do what I do because you want to break generational poverty that you want to give a hand up not a hand out and you want to be impactful okay I deal with hundreds of people every single month as well as the other coaches and counselors that do what I do I don't have time always to kitten glove everybody that comes through I don't have time to mom you I don't have time to grandma you I'm gonna give it to you real and I'm gonna tell you that I'm sorry you know you can't afford nails you can't afford hair you can't afford that $30,000 car because you're homeless.